All right, Paul, three quick topics for this Friday morning. Uh, starting with the World Cup of Hockey, Canada, Russia, Saturday night. Is this must-watch? Because it was must-watch in 72. It should be good hockey, traditional rivals, big names, but I'm just not that engaged in it yet. I think it's been the afternoon games, but you know, if I'm around on Friday, I might get into it. And then the, maybe the three-game final will hook me. But right now, this doesn't feel like Canada-Russia to me. Yeah, and you know what? Also, Russia was mysterious 40-some years ago. Now yeah. they don't really carry that same cachet. BC Lions playing in Edmonton tonight. Edmonton, they could really bury Edmonton with a win. Thoughts on the Lions? Well, you know, yesterday you talked about uh, the Lions not capturing people's uh, imagination. Here's the key for them. They've got to stay ahead of the Blue Bombers who've won seven in a row because they actually need to win. They need to host the Western semifinal. That's the way to get the audience. And you don't think that might even happen then? Well, if they host a playoff game and they still only get eighteen to 20,000, that's... It's going to tell you an awful lot. But the Lions are exciting. They deserve a good crowd. All right, finally, Seahawks hosting the San Francisco 49ers and the most famous backup quarterback, Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick. Well, yeah. unfortunately, a couple more incidents in the U.S. this week with people shot by police, just throwing more fuel on the fire. Uh, Kaepernick coming to Seattle. The Seahawks have really got behind his protest. There's talk, though, they need a white guy to take a knee to join the cause. That's what a lot of the Seahawks players, I think it's going to be very interesting to see what happens pregame in Seattle. And will the Seahawks score even three points this And weekend? please don't think about taking a knee right now.